Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found Our YouTube channel. And in the video today, we're looking at why a gecko's feet can stick to almost anything. It has been observed since the 4th century BC that geckos have the ability to climb walls, hang upside down, and apparently stick to anything. Aristotle was the first person known to have commented on the phenomenon, stating geckos have the ability to run up and down a tree in any way, even with the head downwards. It wasn't until recently that it was discovered what gave them this Spider-Man-like ability. Geckos have millions of tiny hairs on their toes called ceta, ceti being Latin for bristle. All combined, these hair-like tissues give a washboard type appearance to a gecko's toes. Each one of these ceta has thousands of thinner hair-like structures that have flat caps at the end called spatulae. Yes, the same thing that flips our pancakes. These spatulae use what is called van der Waals force to allow the gecko's feet to adhere to objects. More specifically, all of these ceta and spatulae combined give the gecko's feet an extremely large surface area compared to its size. This surface area allows the gecko to take advantage of attraction caused by van der Waals force. Van der Waals force, simply stated, is the combined attractive forces between molecules. Now, normally the force between two molecules is too minute to matter in these types of cases. However, given the lightweight nature of a gecko, approximately 2.5 ounces, and the extreme number of spatulae, the combined force allows the gecko to stick to almost anything. This surface area is so great that it has been shown that if a mature gecko were to have all their ceta in contact with a surface at one time, it could potentially support up to 290 pounds. There may be even more going on here as well, although that's still up for debate. A study published in the Journal of Royal Society Interface in the summer of 2011 showed that geckos leave footprints in the form of phospholipid residue. Phospholipids are a type of lipid, a molecule that forms fats and waxes that can form with two layers. These allow it to both attract water on one side and repel it on the other. It is thought by its publishers that these phospholipids might also play a role in the gecko's sticky talent. While the discovery of phospholipids in the gecko's footprint brings a new factor to the equation, the ancillary evidence that a gecko cannot stick to Teflon is a strong indication that van der Waals force is the main mediator in their abilities. Teflon, polytetrafluoroethylene, is mainly carbon and fluorine. Fluorine itself is highly electronegative, meaning it really, really likes to attract electrons to itself. Because of this, it tends to mitigate what is known as the London dispersion force. This force is thought to usually be the dominant player in the van der Waals force. A gecko, which is dependent on the sum total of all the factors of van der Waals force, would find it extremely difficult to stick to anything that eliminates its ability to utilize the force. And indeed, geckos cannot stick to Teflon. So I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also, over there on the right are a couple of other videos that we've put together that you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one. And thank you for watching.